So, if you're lucky enough to have never had anybody you love have their life taken by another person, you're a very lucky person. And unfortunately, um, I know several people who've had their lives taken by other people. It's, it's hard to explain how you feel about it because you have to go through so many feelings. You go through pain of losing that person. You go through anger. Your emotions are all over the place because you don't know how you what you want to do or how you want to try and avenge this person's unaliving or how you want to go about dealing with it. But the most thing, the most hurtful thing, is the pain and the the worst thing to get over is the anger, I think, because you're so angry that this person took your loved one out of your life that you kind of don't know what to do. Um, I'm unfortunately, when I, I saw my first unalive when I was 12, a man pulled up and walked up to this guy's porch. This guy was sitting on the porch. He walked up to this guy's porch and, you know, he just pointed and you know, to his forehead and um, got in his car, walk, turned right around as if nothing had happened and, 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 and got in his car. I was like 12 years old. This was in 1991. You know, this was a time where people weren't regularly being unalive like they are now. This was a time where a person had to literally do something terrible, uh, go against street code per se, for someone to come back and want to do this to you. I don't know what this guy did. I didn't know this guy. We lived near him, and I was just walking to the store, me and some friends of mine. And uh, the craziest thing is we went over there after we the guy pulled off, and, you know, the guy's brother ran out of the house and was yelling for someone to call the police. But this was a time where people had, had laying lines, and um, people had, there were uh, phone booths around. And um, we went over there, and there was... There was no blood. There was just a, a hole in this guy's forehead. And it took a while for the evidence to get there. And it seems like this guy's head started swelling. We, you know, once the grown-ups came around, they made the kids get away. But anyways, um, of course, he didn't make it. He survived maybe a day or so and the machines or whatever but you know um but unfortunately you know i had two people that i had just saw get on alive and that really really does something to you like you remember how they looked at you the last time you saw them and, and this look is very unexplainable it's an unexplainable look it's like you they are looking at you with compassion and love and like you've like they're never gonna see you again and you don't notice this until until it happens and um the anger of it i mean the, you, you can ask someone you know and, and everyone's gonna feel differently some people feel like the hurt of never seeing them again is worse but i feel like the anger because this you know this did you have to do that you know was there no other way you're a very lucky person if you've never had anyone taken out of your life um, by somebody else because you wonder what could have been, what would have been, what you should have said, what you would have said, um, if things could have went differently. My mom always said, you know, if if uh, a person knows when they're gonna when they're gonna go, she always said a person knows when they're gonna go, and she also she also always said. Um, when it's your time, it's your time. She doesn't believe that, you know, people's lives get cut short, but I do. She just doesn't believe that. Um, but um, I do, unfortunately. I get emotional. Um, my mom's brother. My uncle, he was the guy that, you know, when my dad wasn't around, he was there. And, um... He looked at me and 
said he'd be back and he just stood in the doorway as he was leaving and um he assured me he said it again i'll be back and the way he was looking at me and i was like okay i believe you you know at the time i didn't know what was happening but he was saying this goodbye is what my mom said i don't know um but he just stood there and looked at me with loving eyes and seemed like his eyes was bigger bigger than normal and Two hours later, the police were knocking at our door telling us that he had just been shot. Um, took me a long time to believe it. Took me a long time to get over it. Part of me is still waiting on him to come back. Um, but, you know, I was a teenage girl then. This was 20 years ago. Um, You're a very lucky person if you've never known anybody to be taken out of your life. Cherish those who are in your life. If you have a similar story, if you understand what I'm saying, leave me a comment. Like, subscribe. Um, like I said, I'm a storyteller, but I like to tell true stories.